Hey there, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we'll run about offices, ride on water bikes, pass an obstacle course, craft something square, then again return to motorcycles, but this time on land. And at last, we learn how a great mute physicist in an orange suit with a crowbar moved to the mobile platform. Let's go! We'll begin today with a runner named Escape 2012. The plot is such. It's doomsday and we start inside an office building. The office naturally falls and it is time to get out, which is what we're doing exactly. Actually, the gameplay is quite standard for this genre. There are bonus points to be collected by running through them, and there are some features which give, for example, temporary invulnerability to obstacles. To put it briefly, this runner is standard at best and the locations are dull and lacking variety. I'm sure some fans can appreciate it, but it could have been done a lot better. Next, some races on water bikes. The game is called Water Bike Races. Well, there you go. In fact, it is done in an arcade racing style but is transferred to a setting of water instead of land. The details are relatively similar to what you'd see on land, but still they did a decent job of it. Sure, you can complain about some details, like the low resolution of textures or their quality of splash design, but the game is free, and for free, mind you, the quality is quite good, so consider it a decent time killer for fans of racing, scooters, and the like. The third game for today, Cognitile. Out of the first three games today, this one is the most original. It is a puzzle, which main feature is testing just how good your memory is. I love games where you have to strain your brain at least a little bit. The game field is divided into squares, and you have to plan a route from point A to point B that our hero, a man in a hat, will travel along. As he goes, traps start to activate. Be sure to remember which trap occurs on what square and at what time, then lay out your route to avoid them. Generally, I like the game, and I recommend it to anyone who wants to challenge their memory a little. The next patient, Worldcraft 2. It is, as you can see, the next Minecraft clone, with just a few differences from the original. Here there's the same cubic world, and the materials and ways of crafting in general are also similar. The main differences are really only in the graphics, but considering how many mods Minecraft has, that's not much of a difference. Multiplayer is pretty good, and it's nice to be able to play it with real people so it won't be boring. If you're a fan of Minecraft, then you might also be happy with Worldcraft. Extreme Dirt's Free is our fifth game. It is also about motorcycles, but we'll ride this time not on water, but on the ground. How original! More precisely, we'll ride on springboards and other things so we can do cool jumps and tricks. In the game, there is something along the lines of Elastomania, but instead of taking care of your balance, everything counts on your tricks, though balance is still important here. That has made it more dynamic, and the routes are quite interesting. Here there are bridges hanging in the cloud somehow, and some spiral zigzag things. Quite interesting, I can tell you. But we've saved the most interesting today for dessert. Yes, finally, Half-Life 2 is now available on our mobile devices. It's been long enough, and enough time has passed that it's worth replaying. Certainly, it is a pity that Valve will do practically anything except make Part 3, but it doesn't matter. I have to say, the port is successful, and it seems that some new effects are added too. The game works on modern devices smoothly and looks beautiful. It's definitely not worse than the PC version. In fact, it's even better. Here's the only thing. The port is really big, and something that was normal for a computer isn't convenient for a tablet. For example, it is extremely inconvenient to aim, and I don't think that is only my problem. If there was any auto-aiming built in, then it would be remarkable. For the most part, it is an old and adorable game without significant changes that I'm overall happy in general that it exists. That's all for today. Follow, comment, and put likes on stuff. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!